Hi everybody, how are you? My name is Danielle De Palma, and this is my introduction to my lesson. So I teach 10th through 12th grade students um, studio and art as well as digital art. Um, a lot of my methods that I use combine emotional intelligence or SEL learning, social emotional learning into their artwork. Um, I made a very uh, big impact within my school system, so much so that I'm actually one of the only educators that was asked to teach social emotional learning this summer through a credit recovery program for middle schoolers. Um, a lot of the things that I utilize in my classroom setting for my art students is based on emotional connection and communication. And I am bringing that into the middle school level of social emotional learning. However, that is a component to this project, but I am gearing this project for an art based curriculum. Um, in our readings, so section on the social reform perspective, it states that teachers holding a social reform perspective are most interested in creating a better society and view their teaching as co contributing to that end. Um, my past history, I am a huge advocate for our city. For the past 10 years, I have literally based my life on advocating for it and creating change and coming up with different ways and different solutions um, through different committees or, you know, programs that I am involved in. So I believe completely that I am a social reformist in education. Um, the project that I have created for this class is geared towards, like I said, my 10th through 12th graders. Um, within the reading um, that we've learned this year, you know, the backward course model, I think that as an art teacher, a lot of everything that I do is based on a backwards design where I might see in, you know, an art inspiration and run from there and where I'd have to base my curriculum off of or a lesson off of just one single art piece for my students. So the one that I have, uh, you know, based off of, my students will be able to create works of art based upon their understanding of what it means to make activist artwork. My project overview. So one of the things that I want to instill is that you're not alone, you can't change the world, but you can inspire people as educators to consider new ideas and take constructive action. So artistic activism is the practice that combines the creative powers of the art to move us emotionally with the strategic planning of activism necessary to bring about social change. Um, even with in our readings, uh, it states that all teaching is a mix of art and science, and I think that's what communication and um, understanding sociology and what is going on in the world. It's this huge experiment that we're trying to get through. So it is an art because any art, te any teacher or instructor is faced with numerous and constantly changing variables, which require rapid judgment and decision making. We all know that as teachers, we have to think on the fly. Um, good teachers usually have a passion for teaching, so the emo to the emotional, as well as the cognitive, cognitive side, um, it's very important. You know, we have to have that balance in life. So within this um, curriculum, this project that I'm developing for my students for this class, everything is based on your connection, your ability to communicate your ideas and being able to convey those ideas with a social activist approach through art. A couple of things though. So we wanna bring about social change and deliver a global perspective to our students. Yes. How do we fathom that concept with our students today? How do we meet them where they're at, especially when students hate being in school and they're being forced, they always say they're being forced to be there, um, especially with students that their only desire is to just get the grade to make it to the next level, just to graduate, just to get out of school. We want learning to be intrinsic. We want them to want to learn. We want them to have it be a part of their lives for the rest of their lives. 
So as an educator, we begin small, right? Um, we take one class at a time, offering ways to become emotionally co competent learners. We as teachers tackle every component to their emotional development, and we offer multiple ways to do so within our pedagogy. We offer technology. That's a huge component, especially to our learners nowadays, that acknowledge their emotional connections to life. So building that emotional intelligence um, in the classroom with technology. So I want to bring the VR experience using VR headsets, whether it's the Oculus 2 that I'm comfortable with or any other type of one that your school may be able to utilize. Um, there are a couple different, you know, VR um, simulation headsets out there. However, I'm going with the Oculus 2. Um, a couple things that I do with my students already is we do meditation and we do breathing exercises. One of the components to class is learning how to cope, how to relax and de-stress. And TRIP within Oculus 2, it offers that experience. It's that immersive technology that they're not just looking around the four walls of your classroom. They are embedded in this um, transient, this you know, emotional realm of calmness. And one of the other components to my classroom is um, my students have very um, diverse backgrounds, but they also come with a lot of trauma. So I've created this room where my students can utilize it as a journal of, you know, the emotions that they're going to think through things that they've experienced. And the second component is bringing in the adult partners in their life to see what they're saying, to come up with solutions or ways that we can change our community for the better so that these experiences tend to happen less and less. So this is part of um, the curriculum that I am, have my students immersed in with me. So back to the project, um, art and activism, right? We know what activism, we wanna inflict change, we wanna actually say something and do something. So many artists create work that intersect with political activism and just social justice causes. Um, and it's been done throughout history. So I do like to play a lot of TED Talk tutorials. I think that it, brings, you know, another perspective to my students as well as others, you know, coming into the class and viewing what's really going on. Because I think the dialogue that they, you know, express uh, comes from multifaceted different areas of not only our community or larger states or even the world. Um, so I do like to incorporate a lot of these tutorials. And so we alone, we can't be, you know, the change makers, no matter how much we want to, but we want, but we need to inspire others, right? Um, and we want them to consider the new ideas. And this is what we have to instill within, you know, our curriculums. And as an art teacher, I think I'm privy to having that um, creativity availability to my students and they're able to process you know what's going on in society or the you know what's going on around them and convey their understanding through artwork so for this project we will you know as i you know we will go through different forms of social activism um that are happening that you know we need to take notice but because of the VR environment that I want them to be immersed in, we're gonna take a closer look into the environmental social cause artwork projects. And so we're gonna look at different artists. Um, students will be able to look and discuss the impact that each artwork delivers. And then using our immersive VR for our project goal. I'm just gonna play you a second of this. Now imagine this, not just as a video, as in an immersive experience, everything Join is around you. on a journey to experience the wildest places on earth. So not only do they basically have 
um, an elephant right in front of them and they're looking around and they can basically see the grass around them or they're underneath the water and as they look up there's you know a matter of eel above their head they're also learning from people of these places they're you know learning what's going on in these environments directly from these community members which is creating an emotional attachment um, I did upload, you know, one of the videos that I took. So I'm allowed through the VR headset to record what I'm seeing as well. And so I can upload those videos and tutorials into this experience. And this is just one of them in Kenya with Immerse the elephants. Yourself. And it's basically it's where you can, you can see this right unfolding in front of you and it creates that connection of you know that wow factor for the students that they all want and are asking for in school so these are some of the things that my students will learn they will remember and understand apply analyze and evaluate some of bloom's taxonomy um, from our book um, you know they'll be designing for open communication. Everything about this project is delivered upon their own communication, their ability to trust one another, the, their ability to listen and to convey what they've learned from other learners in class and their ability to take what they've learned from everybody in class as well as from the VR setting and create a dynamic experience of um, activism for art, okay? One of the things that I did also create is um, another Mozilla room specifically for... Okay, so this is my other Mozilla room that I have created for my students. Um, definitely needs, you know, a little bit more attention, a lot more artwork with, on the walls, but this is a start of, you know, immersing my students who can't participate in class. Um, whether they started the project with me and then all of a sudden for some reason or another their you know transition turned to being completely or fully remote as opposed to you know being synchronous with me in class or a hybrid model so this is intended for my students who you know aren't getting that um, but then after they view it they can go around and I can change up the artwork to correlate to their project um, of what's going on I would intend on using, you know, the same room. Okay, I'm not gonna play the whole thing for you um, because it is on my Google sites and you're allowed to, you know, obviously take it at your own leisure. Um, one thing that I do want to, you know, promote within this is whether my students um, are creating a collage or a painting or a poster, they're still utilizing the principles of art and design to convey a message, you know, and that message should be based upon um, what they chose to do it on through the VR headset, um, through their immersive experience, because they're, you know, there's multiple different, you know, rooms or different, um, areas that they're allowed to explore in you know the world through um the oculus and through um ecosphere so it's all based upon their choice all right so their ecosphere choice combined with you know their artistic expression choice and how they want to convey the message it is based on their choices and their learning experiences and i think that's what creates meaning in education think that is it. So um, thank you guys. Bye.